Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I wanted to go through all of the plants that I have staked up on poles right now. So I have a few different types of moss poles, stakes, whatever you want to call them. So I just wanted to show you how I pretty much made them, what materials I used, and yeah, the plants that are growing on them pretty much. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos. And yeah, let's get started with today's video. So first off, I want to show you the newest pole that I've made, which is this one my philodendron pink princess which outgrown its previous stake which if you guys haven't seen that one it's the one where I used uh, this wooden dowel slash stick and I just wrapped it with some twine or jute rope and just stick it into the pot so that's what I did with that and the newest leaf actually reached the very top of that stick so I had to make a new one and this is how it looks like now So this baby is huge. I made this pole. It's made out of bamboo sticks and I just wrapped some moss on the inside with some, what is this called? Burlap? I think it's called burlap. And I just wrapped some burlap around it to contain the moss. Just because it was such a long pole, I didn't want the moss to be just, you know, all over the place. So. I wrapped it with this to cover it and then I used some twine slash jute rope to kind of contain everything all together. So that's how it's looking like right now. It has so much more room so this is its newest leaf up here. It doesn't have much variegation but that's okay. So it's ending right here and it still has that much more space to grow. So I mean this to be absolutely humongous just so I don't have to restake it anytime soon and yeah this uh I just had to secure it with some of these plant velcro ties and it's doing great so hopefully it grows some more and by letting it climb the leaves do get significantly bigger as you can see and also hopefully with more variegation and the next one I have is actually my Thai constellation so this is my Thai constellation. I also use a bamboo stick, but I just wrapped the sphagnum moss around the bamboo stick and just secured it with the twine again, this time without the burlap, just so it's a lot easier with smaller stakes, to be honest. So that's why this moss pole is just out in the open like that and it won't fall apart. But the other one is probably two to three times the size and that's why I have that one wrapped in burlap. But yeah, this one already has an aerial root that's starting to attach to the stake. So right here, so it's attaching to the moss pole, which I'm really happy about and can't wait for a new leaf to come out. But this one is the most recent leaf that I got. Not a lot of variegation, but it does have quite a lot of kind of splashiness to it, which I'm still happy about. Once again, I use some of the plant Velcro to attach the plant to this moss pole and I think it looks really cute. This one's like a little baby one and I think it's perfect for such a small plant. I don't think it's gonna outgrow this anytime soon because Thai constellations are such, such slow growers. I kind of wish I knew that before buying it, but that's okay. I made the exact same one for my Philodendron Melanochrysum, which is right over here, let me grab it. So this little two leaf plant my philodendron melanochrysum is going to be just growing up this beautiful moss pole. So that's how it's looking like right now. And it's literally just sitting at the bottom. So there's so much room for it to grow. I did the exact same thing with my Thai constellation that I did with this plant. And I think it also looks really cute. So same technique, sphagnum moss, bamboo stake, and some just twine and i just stuck it inside the pot because it's so small and it's not super top heavy it won't it doesn't really wobble inside the pot so this one is actually pretty secure which i like my philodendron pink princess that pole is actually just incredibly large so i'm so scared to ever pick up that pot but this one is a lot easier look how cute it is it's just stinking adorable isn't it okay and this one i wanted to show you guys because i'm really proud 
of giving this philodendron a makeover and it's my Hartley trailing philodendron. So initially it was just trailing all over the place. It was really hard to take it out of its cover pot to water and put it back in because the leaves would just kind of get tangled and stuck. So I wanted to stake it up so that one, the leaves grow bigger and two, it's more manageable for me to water. So this is my philodendron heart leaf green. I don't know. <laughs> it's just my regular philodendron. So this one looks so cool. As you can see, I've staked it up. I used, I think two or three bamboo sticks and I just used the burlap. I didn't make any moss inside, so I didn't put any moss. So it's not really considered a moss pole. It's more just a support stake. Um, just because I didn't really want it to get too heavy because this one is fairly tall as well. It's taller than my Thai Constellation and Melanochrysum moss pole. So I just wrapped each of the long vines and wrapped it around the middle stake. So I secured it with some plant velcro after that. And yeah, it's just, it's doing great right now. And I think over time, the leaves should slowly start facing all downwards because right now it's looking a little nuts just because there's so many leaves and this literally exploded this growing season i bought it as i think two three and a half inch pots and now it's in a six inch pot with a stake and it's slowly making its way up so yeah that's three different ways on how i make my support stakes poles whatever you want to call them some have moss in them some do not I also have my regular twine one that I have my Alocasia Fry Deck using that right now. So I kind of don't want to move it because it, you know, might still have spider mites. So I'm just kind of keeping it in isolation right now. But these are nice happy plants that I wanted to show you guys and just different techniques because it's just so fun to DIY your own kind of moss poles just because the ones you buy on Amazon are so expensive. They're kind of very generic looking and they don't suit your needs because not every plant needs the same size moss pole. Like this one, I made a skinnier one versus my philodendron pink princess, I made a fatter one. And the other like smaller plants, I made shorter ones. So pretty much just depends on your liking and what you want to do for your plants. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful in some way or another. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.